The Princess on the Pea by Hans Christian Andersen There was once a prince who wanted to marry a princess, but she was to be a real princess. So he traveled all through the world to find a real one. But everywhere there was something in the way. There were princesses enough. But whether they were real princesses, he could not quite make out. There was always something that didn't seem quite right. So he came home again and was quite sad, for he wished so much to have a real princess. One evening, a terrible storm came on. It lightened and thundered, and the rain streamed down. It was quite fearful. Then there was a knock at the town gate, and the old king went out to open it. It was a princess who stood at the gate. But mercy! How she looked in the rain and the rough weather. The water ran down from her hair and her clothes. It ran in at the points of her shoes and out the heels. And yet she declared she was a real princess. Yes, we will soon find that out, thought the old queen. But she said nothing, only went into the bedchamber, took all the bedding off, and put a pea upon the flooring of the bedstead. Then she took twenty mattresses and laid them upon the pea, and then twenty eider-down beds upon the mattresses. On this the princess had to lie all night. In the morning she was asked how she slept. Oh, miserably, said the princess. I scarcely closed my eyes all night long. Goodness knows what was in that bed. I lay upon something hard so that I am black and blue all over. It was quite dreadful. Now they saw that she was a real princess, for through twenty mattresses and twenty eider-down beds she had felt the pea. No one but a real princess could be so delicate. So the prince took her for his wife, for now he knew he had a true princess. And the pea was put in the museum, and it is there now, unless somebody has carried it off. Look you, this is a true story. Thus ends The Princess on the Pea by Hans Christian Andersen.